Greetings and welcome ladies and gents of the Super Gamer and welcome to the season finale of the pilot season of Commercial Spotlight. Uh, first I wanted to say thank you for all the support on the uh, Kirby commercials video. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. So, for the pilot season finale, I figured why not um, look at some weird miscellaneous Nintendo commercials. Not really any specific franchise, just weird commercials that are about Nintendo games. Let's go. Oh my god. That looks like a creepy finger. It looks like a creepy finger. Like, why did they think that that would sell more Kirby games? I mean, come on. Nintendo, why? Such a wonder. your finger to keep Kirby on the right path. But he's not using his finger, he's using a stylus. What the heck, Nintendo? And out of trouble. Kirby Canvas Curse for Nintendo DS. Rated E for everyone. Touching is good? Uh, you really should think more about what that actually means, Nintendo. Seriously. Help! Help! <laughs> Mario <laughs> Who swims like that? He has new friends with special abilities! He has new enemies with funky attack! What will he save the princess? Find out in Paper Mario! Okay, that's unrealistic. Paper can't smash through glass. I mean, really? This is just so unrealistic. Oh. Rated E for it. Also, why is there a goat in this commercial? What does it have to do with anything? You need a Tetris shot. Tetris. How do you mean Tetris size? Square, rectangle, trapezoid, Tetrisoid. You know, this is giving me serious flashbacks to a certain commercial that I talked about in the first episode. Can we roll that clip? Wow, talk about false advertising. They're making Dr. Mario, of all games, to be a lot more <clears throat> radical uh, than it really is. See what I mean? Nintendo introduces Tetris. Put a piece here, put a piece there. Use your thumbs, use your eyes. Find yourself Tetris side. <laughs> now you're playing with power. It's all in the head, the head movement. In the body, the body. Wait there. Jeez, you two are doing a lot of property damage, you know. <laughs> Not bad. But you gotta work on your follow through. Yeah, this was a commercial for Yoshi's Story, wouldn't you know? Your moves and tripping with attitude. Yoshi's Story, for the first time on N64. I think you got in the hangover. Pikachu! Let's play! Pikachu! Dance! I can't take it anymore. Me neither, dog. I mean, like, like, I don't even think this kid is playing the right copy of Hey Yo Pikachu because Hey Yo Pikachu is a broken game. Like, Pikachu doesn't probably respond to anything that you tell him to do. Like, this is just straight up false advertising. Fill it in. He talks to Pikachu, Pikachu listens. Pikachu, come here. I thought I was man's best friend. Great job. Pikachu. Meanwhile, I'm getting fat. I walk myself. Where's the love? This video is brought to you by the Save the Doggos Foundation. Donate everything you can so that we can show dogs the love that they deserve. As well as getting rid of every copy of Hey You Pikachu. <laughs> hey You Pikachu, rated E for everyone. Good for you, bad for pets. <laughs> Looking for love here. Only on N64. Yeah, it's a 
くした人も満足させますマリオです You know, I never knew that one of my favorite Super Nintendo games had one of the weirdest commercials. It's really weird. Oh my god, what is happening? I said with mustard. Make it two. Master. Control is good. You can see how good is two commanders lead a planetary treasure hunt in Pikmin 2. With two player mode, may the best scavenger win. Only for Nintendo GameCube. Ready for everyone. Okay, I think I've had enough weirdness for the day. Uh, so, um, uh, thank you for watching this series. Uh, if you guys would like it to continue, and like you guys, if you got, if you like me, we would make more. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'm the Super Gamer, and I'm just gonna go take a shower or something. I mean, good lord, this works so weird.